So uh, on the one hand, when I'm actually forming the pieces, I, I you know, that I've been uh, called by more than one person a perfectionist, and sometimes I'm not sure if that's a compliment <laughs> or not, but that, you know, so for instance, if I'm going to make a set of cups, uh, you know, f um, for better or worse, I tend to try to want to make them identical. It almost as, as an exercise uh, of skill. Um, yeah, so there's a you know there's a lot of different steps in the pot making process, and so each one I want to give my um, full focus and attention and you know a lot of details and uh, it's really you know quite an extensive process you know that there are so many steps along the way and I find enjoyment in most of the steps if not all some of it's technical and then there's some of it that is just sort of pure creativity and then there's some that's sort of a combination well uh, that I've noticed through the years that I like to do things the hard way and so um, as far as making the pots I actually dig my own materials to use for glazes um, I would really like to get to a point where I'm using clay that I've harvested and processed myself to make the actual pots though that may be a ways down the road. Um, and then firing them, I use wood, which is a um, really labor-intense method. So there's uh, finding and gathering wood and then processing that so that it can be used to fire the kiln. And then, of course, the actual firing, which can last anywhere from 20 to 30 hours, and that's um, constant attention, feeding the kiln wood anywhere from every minute or two to every five or 10 minutes, depending on where I am in the firing process.